Tomorrow is an election day here in Texas where voters will decide on various primary runoffs and one of them is for Harris County Commissioner Precinct 4. Leslie Briones and Ben Chow are facing off for the Democratic nomination and tonight there is some controversy surrounding one of their campaigns. Mario Diaz live in Southwest Houston tonight and Mario there have been allegations of racism in this runoff. Daniela, on one side, you have a candidate who says he is being racially targeted. On the other side, you have a candidate who says it was a mistake made by her campaign. At the center of it, an altered image. In 2022, we do not tolerate discrimination and racism in Democratic politics. Precinct 4 Democratic candidate Ben Chow speaking out after his image was doctored by the campaign of his opponent, Leslie Briones. The most obvious differences you will see are my eyes, how they clearly changed the shape of my eyes. You will see the change to my mouth, my lips. The altered image released last Wednesday, according to Chow, who also took issue with what he says is a stock photo of the Great Wall of China behind him. I take pride in being a Taiwanese and a Chinese American. Briones apologized to her opponent and Asian community, saying the fault lies with a graphic designer who used Photoshop. The designer is no longer a part of her campaign. We are adults here in 2022. What are they thinking? The winner of Tuesday's runoff will face precinct four incumbent Jack Cagle in November's general election. Altering the identity of a candidate in Texas is a class A misdemeanor, according to state statute. I think an argument can be made on both sides that this is criminal and not criminal activity. Rice University political science professor Mark Jones says one thing is for certain, the image is unethical. Ben Chow's image was clearly altered by the Briones campaign to make it look negative. In Briones' apology statement, she made it quite clear that she rejected all the charges and that this was an attempt by Chow and his campaign to really capitalize on this situation. Should be noted that we did reach out to Briones' campaign for an interview with the candidate. Her campaign told us that she would not be made available on this day. In Southwest Houston, Mardias, KPRC2 Investigates. Mar